Hey there everyone, this is Clark from Spiffy Apps. Today we're going to be looking at a method how to make your desktop look minimalistic. I'm going to be using four apps, and I did previously review the Eevee app, which you will see in this little folder here. Now these are the four apps we're going to be using, and you may recognize a couple of those, or even three of those, or all of them. But we have the Eevee launcher, which is very unpopular. It's still growing popularity quite fastly, too. The VIT icon pack, which is made by Joshua M., which I would totally recommend to people who are looking to get a nice icon pack design because he is very good at designing icon packs and he has a few choices on his Play Store. Also, you have Backdrops, which is a very popular one, about half a million downloads for a bunch of different wallpapers, and the Echo Lock Screen, which is very minimalistic and clean. And look at that origami style icon. I love that purple. Man, these are really clean designs already. So let's go ahead and start this out. First, I'm going to set up my lock screen. I'm going to go ahead and look at it here. I think everything's pretty much in place. I've already pre-done this, but these are the options you get. You've got the notification stuff, the security, the wallpaper for the lock screen, um, a bunch of other options. You can also rate it. Uh, more features, the screen timeout, full screen, blah, blah, blah. That's pretty much all that is there. Now let's go ahead and check out this lock screen. I'm going to go ahead and lock my phone and then bring it back up. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I have 30% left on my battery life. Hopefully, we make it through this video. We'll slide to unlock this. And as you can see, we're in the Google Launcher, which we're going to change that. Let's go ahead and go to Eevee. We have the Eevee Launcher. It looks very clean set up. I have two icons down here, and it's already themed in the VIT texture icon pack. Now, in the last video, I did not tell you the limitations of what Eevee has. Uh, it has a very weird limitation uh, for aesthetics that would probably be affected by this launcher. So if this is not for you, most definitely look to get the Apex launcher or something a little bit more popular. But the four aesthetics limitations that I could forgive, it only has one icon size. Um, you cannot use live wallpapers, the live wallpapers. And then also the grid size, you cannot resize it for your apps. And then lastly, you cannot take the icon labeling off. So phone and messages will have to stay there, which is kind of unfortunate, but that is what it is with the limitations. But it is still quite unpopular and underused. So it's kind of nice to have something that, you know, is fresh, unique, and isn't like everyone else's. But if you wanted to go the route with the Apex Launcher, I wouldn't judge you. <laughs> so anyway, this is the EV Launcher. Very beautiful. Let's go over to our app launcher over here. Now, to get this icon pack into the EV Launcher, you want to go over here to this app panel, go over to Settings, and then go to Change Icon Pack to the VIT Icon Pack, and then it's applied, as you can see. But it's already applied from earlier. Let's go over to this panel, to the Apps, and see if we can find that one app. Backdrops, yeah, that's right. About forgot. <laughs> there it is right there. Backdrops. So as you can see, you can find a pretty minimalistic wallpaper. I'm personally just going to use this because it's fast and easy. Unfortunately, an advertisement. And it would be Clash Royale. I mean, come on. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and set this. There we go. Wallpaper set. And let's take a look. Yeah, that looks pretty clean. The only thing is it looks kind of janky with... Here, let's go to Eevee. There we go. Now, doesn't that look pretty minimalistic and clean? I like it. And I like how it has that opaque blur look in the background on this panel. I think it looks very clean. And also, the rounded corners on the launcher looks pretty minimalistic. I wish you could turn off the search bar, but unfortunately you can't. But with this launcher, you can just put your thumb in the middle of the screen, pull down, and then you could search stuff, which I thought was really cool. But guys, I think this is pretty much all I could show you for the minimalist, the minimalist setup. Um, let's go ahead and try to drag this message icon there. Let's go. There we go. That's very clean. I personally like it. There's some icons up here I could probably get rid of. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty minimalistic, and I think it's going to work out. Now, in the comment section below, tell me what you think about the EVL app launcher and some of the other apps that I've previewed in this video, and let me know. Did it go well for you? Do you like it? Or are you going to stick with something maybe a little bit more popular? And if you do, what are you going to be using? And also, if you enjoyed the video, if I helped you anyway, leave a like. And if you want to stay in tuned, stay in touch with me, subscribe to my channel, and I will be bringing you more Android app reviews, quick looks, and more. 
Guys, thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day.